So, Kelly Remington, first of all, how's your head? That was very, very bloody. I want to know how you're feeling. No, I was fine. It was. It looked a lot worse than it was. I was. I honestly didn't know what happened at that point. Um, but no, six stitches. They stitched me up. We went right back out into the game, and uh, yeah, no problems. Did it? Did it have kind of look worse on TV? Like when you watched, you like, oh my gosh, there was there was more blood Ooh, yeah, than I thought. Yes, it did. It did. I, I thought I ran into a tree. I didn't realize that things fell on me. Um, and I thought I was sweating. I didn't realize that was blood coming down until I could, like, pull my handkerchief up and then see the blood on my shirt. I'm like, oh, man, it must have got me pretty good. But at that point, you're just worried about, oh, okay, we are losing this challenge. we got to win this challenge. So who cares? Let's go. Let's wrap this up. Let's go. How far behind are you? So, no, it wasn't. I mean, it, it wasn't as bad as it, it appeared. Mm-hmm. Do you have a really cool scar to show for it? I do. I do. <laughs> I have my hairline, though. You can't really see it until, unless I'm like, oh, there it is. But, yeah. No, it just it's on the hairline. Not bad. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when people get injured, uh, we actually see them go to the medical or or at least see the medical people come to you. Do you know, were, were there cameras filming that scene where you got the stitches, or, or was there just was it just you and the doctor? It was just me and Dr. Ben, yeah. There was no cameras in there when he was stitching me up. Just me and Dr. Ben. I mean, when they came out, when he came out to assess me, when they stopped the game, the cameras were still there. But uh, once the game was over, and then he, we went back to the, the tent where he stitched me. Out, there was no cameras there. Mm. Um, and um, the the reason you're sitting here today isn't because anything you did. It's because Jen played her hidden immunity idol. So, is there some sense of solace in knowing you weren't the one that was supposed to go home? Does that make you feel better at all? <laughs> Yeah, no, not really. Because I could have, played, <laughs> I could, I could have done different things. I could have made Jen feel like I was with her. I could have. It was a personal mm-hmm. thing with Jen. She uh, was mad because, you know, I didn't keep up the friendship once I got back. Once we merged all together, so, um, you know, yeah. Did I know all my blue collars had my back? Did I know everyone? You know, was still rooting for me. And I mean, I guess it does. If there's, but you're out there with a million bucks. I don't. Want, you know, you don't want to walk out of there, you know, number seven, you know, I was still, like, very devastated that she picked me because I wasn't strong in the, in the challenges. I wasn't a big voice out there. I wasn't a monster guy, like, in a, you know, so I was I was upset, like, why would you pick me? You know what I mean? It just didn't make sense mm-hmm. at that point. But now I sit back and look, all right, it makes sense. She she knows, you know, I was, I was, I did have a good alliances out there, so I must have been a threat. Right. Um, how long was that travel council? Because there were 12 people. It must have been the longest one so far. Yeah, they were out there probably for an hour, an hour and a half, talking with Jess. I mean, mm-hmm. it's hard to gauge time, but we're sitting there for a while. Things are being talked about, different, you know, scenarios, you know, Jess throws out there. So you're there for a while, um, and not even for a minute thinking, you know, that I'm going home at this point. Like, okay, well, this is great. You know, I know I'm here. We merged, life is good, until, you know, Jen plays it by and they're like, oh, boy, this is not good. Right. Uh, I have to say, you were my winner prediction at Gold Derby. I was banking on you to uh, win. Um, uh, but now that you're off the show, um, I need your advice. Who's, who do you think is playing the best game? Who's playing the best game out there at this point? Um, you have some you have some really good players out there. You have some strong personalities. You have some people that are sitting in the back, too, that are not um, – you know, I, I, I'm saying the blue collars are doing well. I mean, I'm going to have to say I like the way my blue collars, were, what we talked about, and mm-hmm. I think our, I think the blue collars are, are playing the game the best. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say one individual person. I'm just, you know, my biggest alliance is, you know, my biggest right. alliance is out there, but I think they're all playing well together. Mm-hmm. And it looks like the, the five blue collars were successful in bringing over Will, Shireen, Carolyn, and Tyler and just based on, you know, the way the votes came out. Uh, so that that would be a very powerful alliance of nine if you were still there. Is that too many people for an alliance, do you think? Or do you, or um, if, in other words, like if you were still on the show and it was nine against the other guys, where would the divide have been? Would you have stuck with the five blue collars toward, to the very end? Yes, I, I definitely – that is a lot of people to have for an alliance. But, yes, I was definitely core with the, the blue collars. I see, you know, maybe towards – I know I, I made Sierra upset when we got rid of Lindsay. Maybe when it started getting down, you know, 
two fewer numbers. I started questioning, you know, maybe Sierra, my blue collar tribe, because I knew she was mad at me. And, you know, mm-hmm. you don't forget about that stuff. You know, she says, yeah, she's blue collar, but who knows? You know, you don't know what people are going to think out there. So, um, but for now, yeah, I, I would have stuck with the blue collar, at least for for another week or two if, if I was still out there. Mm-hmm. And let's go back to that memory challenge last week, that, the one that Mike threw to you. Uh, first of all, um, did you, at what point did you know he was throwing it? And it took me a while. Kind of a, uh, yeah, because he couldn't really say, right, because the other people were right behind right. you. Right. He was trying to – I didn't realize what he was doing, and I was just being a knucklehead, I think, because I, I, I might have had a head injury. I might – no, I'm just – I'm blaming it on <laughs> that pallet hitting my head, but honestly, I didn't realize that he was throwing it. And he was trying to talk to me, saying, listen, I'm going to help you out, you know, slow down, calm down, relax, let's get this. So um, it took me a while to catch on. And finally, I'm like, oh, wow, all right. So, and then once I realized what he was doing, I, I listened to him, and he actually walked me right through the whole thing, as you see. <laughs> so, um, yes, it took me a bit, though, to figure it out. So, And, yeah, and, then, this, and then this week's challenge with the hanging on the poles, how did you guys get up on the poles? Were there ladders there? or? or? Yes, there's ladders. Yes, there's ladders. Okay. And then once the, the, it begins, once the challenge begins, they take the ladders away. Okay, gotcha. And just hanging there, yeah. Um, so if you could change one thing about the way you played the game, going back even to day one, is there anything you would have done differently? Nope. The only thing I would change is I would have been a little nicer of those no collars at the merge. And I wouldn't mm. be sitting here having this interview with you right now. But, um, yeah, right. I definitely would have. That's the only thing I, w- I would have changed. That My gameplay was that's how I was going to play it. I was going to make a strong alliance. No one's going to know about it. I'm going to watch these people explode. I'm going to watch them fight. I'm going to watch them, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit back because it's such a personality. It's a, you know, game out there that it's, it's if you just keep your mouth shut sometimes and then it's, eventually you're going to have to start making big moves you can't sit back the whole time because you're not going to win the million who's going to vote for you you just sit back but you got to start making strong moves but in the beginning yes in the beginning all you do is need to just watch people interact and just try to get along and yeah no, i wouldn't change anything except at the merge that one day that that it actually was literally a day and a half i would have been a little more uh, fr- i wouldn't have been so loyal I would have mm-hmm. let the no cars know that I was still with them. That's the only thing I would have changed. Right. Um, and two weeks ago, Max told me that he, you know, he's such a big fan. He's seen every episode. He knows every play. And then Joaquin, right. at the other end of the spectrum, Joaquin had never really seen an episode. <laughs> where do you right. Where do you fall between those two guys? I'm probably in the middle. I, I do watch Survivor. I don't know. I mean. I don't everything like Will or like um, Max does know every, you know, challenge even or what this clue means or like I'm not that into it. I <laughs> love Survivor. I do watch it every Wednesday. I'm loyal, but I don't. I'm, I'm probably in between Max and Joaquin. Gotcha. Uh, so it almost hurts you if you're like Max and you know everything. That's almost the exactly. detriment. Yeah. Yeah. So what's and then the last... Mm-hmm. Last question, what was your audition process like? How did you get cast on the show? I actually uh, made a film or made a, a little three-minute film in front of my house three or four, about four years ago now with my neighbor went down in front of I'm on Grand Island. I live on an island. So I said, hey, Jeff, I live on this island. I can live on your island. It was just um, a three-minute video of whatever. I talked about myself, the state police, the military, and then, yeah, I sent it in, and obviously this just fit what they were looking for this season. So uh, I, I must they just kept it on file, and then they called me four years later. So it was just one time. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, okay, well, thanks, thanks a lot, Kelly. Um, we will see Thank you at the... All right, looking okay. forward to okay. it. Thank you. Oh, Bye-bye. You got it.